I don't know if you can hear it through my mic, but I'm right next to the water. I'm going to I'm going to show a video right now. And I wanted to come on here today and talk about um, imposter syndrome because it's something that I've been dealing with for the last like couple of weeks. Um, for those of you who know or, or might not know, I'm studying a master's degree right now. I'm doing a master's degree in information science. So basically learning um, I'm trying to become a librarian of sorts. With everything I do, I feel this heavy sense of like imposter syndrome, um, mostly in academics, like an academic imposter syndrome. <laughs> because when I was in high school, um, where I live, it's mandatory if you're an immigrant to go to French school. So I had to go to French school because my parents were immigrants. And if you're a child of an immigrant between a certain time, you have to go to French school. And my parents didn't really know French or, or they were kind of struggling to make ends meet. And I went to French school and pretty much every year I would fail. I would go to summer school. I had really, really shit grades, like really, really bad grades. So to the point where <laughs> I was talking to my mom recently and she's like, you know what, Alex, at the time, I thought it was just over for you. Like you were just going to work at McDonald's. For the rest of your life. I'm like, thanks mom. <laughs> but for sure, like truly, like I was so not good at school. And I, I, I think that's a, I think that's pretty common. Um, I think it's pretty common that some of us like struggle with, with school and being able to focus and stuff like that. But for some reason I decided to continue and I decided because I didn't really know what else to do. I continued going to school and then I studied communications for a while and my grades got exponentially better like I was getting a minuses I was getting a minuses across the board and I was like oh oh I'm not stupid I guess but it felt wrong it felt like I was cheating it felt like like I didn't belong there like it's it was such a weird feeling because sometimes I just feel as though I'm almost lying to people as though people don't really see the real me and the real me is somebody who's really shitty who's really dumb who's really uh, incapable of doing things but then when good things happen I almost can't believe it because for a long time I used to be stupid <laughs> but stupid not 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 in the grand scheme of things, stupid, but stupid. I was really bad in school. And now I'm looking at myself, I'm doing a master's degree, and I'm sitting here wondering if I really belong amongst those people, you know, like those academic people. Because there's, I mean, there's a difference between like school smarts and like people smarts or like life smarts. And you could definitely tell the difference. I'm not saying you're smarter because you go to school or you're smarter because you don't go to school. I think that there's def different levels of intellect depending on what you do, you know? But I guess for me, I'm thinking to myself like, wow, do I really actually belong here? Am I actually amongst these people? And the worst part is that I'm somebody that does all of my things last minute. So I kind of just whip something out like out of my ass and <laughs> and call it a day so it's funny that when I get my grades back I get good grades but when I was in high school it was not like that at all it was I was failing I was doing poorly and I almost I like, can't believe it I feel like I'm a fraud a lot of the times and even like, in jobs or um, or literally anything that I do I carry with me this imposter syndrome and the only way I found I would be able to fix this is to just keep working at it, keep getting better and, and keep trying to prove uh, your skills and your and your intellect, not for other people, but for yourself. And look at yourself through a positive lens and be like, yeah, I did this. I did this. I worked hard and I did this. I did this when all the prospects said I couldn't. 
I did this when everybody doubted me, or I did this when people thought I wouldn't amount to anything. And I did this. And at the end of the day, if I'm an imposter, man, fucking lock me in. The <laughs> lock me in because, baby, I'm I'm here. I'm here to... <laughs> but no, I, I think it's just because I want to be as... as honest and as truthful and as authentic that I can possibly be and I don't want to misjudge or not necessarily misjudge but misplace myself in somewhere where I don't belong I want to be honest I don't want to uh, speak so highly of myself and then when I disappoint people are like oh we thought you do you would do better than that Alex I think part of me is scared of that too and um yeah, I think maybe that adds to the fact that like I don't feel like I belong anywhere, really. Maybe because I don't feel like I've earned it. And sometimes you just have to sit, look at yourself, and think, you know what? All of this, I did this. Nobody else did. There's like a huge path behind me, like not directly behind me, but like further down behind me. And for some reason, I just got a bunch of people walk into my shot. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it. Uh, go enjoy outdoors. Go enjoy life. And don't be so hard on yourself. And this is a message to me. And that's with uh, imposter syndrome. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day. Hi. Also, it's so beautiful here. Ah, yay. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.